Water is the most critical part of any farm, according to Tony Gibb, whose vegetable growing operation is headquartered at Peak Crossing in southeast Queensland. Whether it's managing too much water, too little, or just the right amount, Mr Gibb has spent a lot of time and resources getting efficient systems in place on his properties. In particular, a unique opportunity presented itself in late 2014 when the Gibbs purchased a new property at Harrisville with no existing infrastructure on it. It was a blank canvas when we started. We've done a 100 acre development. Um, we've had extensive drainage put in and uh, levelling, put uh, permanent irrigation in and have a uh, irrigation system which the capability to inject fertiliser at the pumps to put on our crops uh, as, while, we're, while we're irrigating. Mr Gibb aimed for versatility when designing the new property's irrigation system, with the capacity in place to use drip irrigation, overhead or a combination of both. However, perhaps even more critical was the planning that went into the drainage system. When we designed the drainage for this block, we worked out how much water uh, we would get in a 100 mil rain event, and we built the drains uh, big enough to hold that amount of water, which is about six megalitres in the top part of the farm. So we could actually hold that much water in an hour, but obviously it was getting away very quick. And, you know, at the end of the day, uh, on Saturday after the rain event, you know, there was just water trickling out. There was all the, the majority, 99% of the water had been um, drained away. The rain event Mr Gibb refers to was no less than 136 millimetres in early June 2016, over a very short space of time. While providing a stern test for the new drainage system, a mark of its success was the return to harvesting just days later. Managing uh, water, whether it's runoff or, or putting it on, is just really critical. Uh, we had 136 millimetres here in six hours on Saturday and we started harvesting Tuesday, yesterday, and um, you know we made a little bit of a mess, but uh, the crops are all good. We've got, because of the attention to detail we paid with our drainage, you know, getting the water off is just as critical in those type of events as it is putting it on when it's dry. While removing water is a very different problem to adding water, both require strategic planning. In this case, Mr Gibbs says the key to success was a design process with the entire system in mind. We are fortunate to, uh, when planning our drainage and irrigation for this site, that we started with a blank canvas. So we incorporated in the earthworks uh, for doing the drainage, our irrigation system. We tr looked around uh, different parts of the country to you know, best practice for uh, water coverage and uh, yeah, we've, we've put it, we, we think we've, we've done as much as we can with the technology we've got. Uh, and we've got two pumps instead of one if you have a problem. Uh, you know, bigger main lines to get water on quicker when it's hot. Uh, and in, uh, fertiliser injection system that, so when we're watering we inject our fertiliser over the top. We only apply fertiliser, uh, base fertiliser when we're planting. The rest is done with, uh, with uh, liquid, uh, with soluble fertiliser. Peak Horticultural Group Growcom played an important role in the design of the Harrisville farm, assisting with water use efficiency information. And they helped us working out correct sprinkler patterns. Uh, we did we injected dye into the system so we could see uh, the, where the dye, how long it took to get the dye to certain points on the farm, so that the fertilizer was going where it was meant to be. And it was really reassuring to see that, and it, it was really helpful. Mr Gibb believes with his Harrisville farm passing the most recent severe weather test, the drainage planning can be considered a success. After what we saw last weekend with yep. the weather event, yep. 136 millimetres of rain, and to be here harvesting you know, three days later without making too much of a mess, yep. we'd have to say that the, the drainage has been a great success. Yep. Uh, in terms of the irrigation system, we're happy where we're at with that now, but we have the capacity to add, uh, as technology advances, to update and upgrade the computer system to measure, uh, you know, and help us become more efficient with our use of water in the future. Music